Congressman Justin Amash says he is no longer part of the Republican Party, but he's confident he can win re-election as an independent. Today, he's facing a new challenger. 24 Hour News 8 political reporter Rick Albin is here with how Amash and others are making the race for Michigan's 3rd Congressional District one to watch. Rick? It will be that. First, Amash became the only sitting Republican congressman to say President Trump committed impeachable offenses. Then, over the 4th of July, he declared his own independence from the Republican Party. In a speech that very day, he seemed to allude to some of the reasoning behind his decision. What we share as Americans is far more powerful and important than our political identities. Our differences aren't meaningless. It's our diversity with our various backgrounds and ideas that make this country such a unique, exciting place to live. But we can't let these differences become an insurmountable wall between us. Amash had already drawn a field of at least four primary challengers before making his decision. State Representative Lynn Affendoulis State Representative Jim Lauer, former Sand Lake trustee Tom Norton, and Army vet Peter Meyer all say that they are running for the office. For the Democrats, a new entry into that primary field today, attorney Hillary Sh uh, Scholten says she's running to work on immigration reform, affordable health care, and education. There's a growing number of women like myself who are raising their hands to run for Congress right now, who are invested in their communities, who are bringing fresh perspectives to Congress, and I'm inspired by them. Other Democrats who have signaled that they will run include Nick Colvin, who previously worked in the Obama White House, Doug Booth, who specializes in health care policy, and Navy veteran and political activist Amanda Leanne Brunzel. As for Amash, if he runs as an independent and his office tells me that he will refile as such, it would be hard to gauge what the impact would be. But the third could become competitive for the first time in decades. It's more than a year until the primary and the field can grow or shrink. But it could be one of Michigan's most interesting congressional races next year. Could be one of the nation's most congressional races. I mean, Rick, this thing has taken off. Not only uh, are we reporting it locally, but now Amash is getting a lot of attention at that national level. Yeah, there, there are two things that I'm not sure how to factor in here, and I've been thinking about this ever since I heard the news. Either one, he really runs as an independent, and that changes the dynamic of this race because you're going to split Republican voters, conservative, libertarian voters. Democrats have candidates that are going to be well-financed in this race. So as I say, it could be competitive for the first time in maybe 40 years. Or he's got something else going on. He's raising his profile. His voice is getting bigger. Maybe he does take that leap. Maybe he does run for president as a libertarian, so he has the bully pulpit over the next several months. I'm not sure which. I have a request in to speak with the congressman. We hope to do that sooner rather yeah. than later. Wow. We're going to be busy around yeah. here. Yeah, <laughs> I would That's think so. I Thank you, yeah. Rick.